Hi, Bill here. I'm with GroomWeddingSpeechSite.com and we're going to cover a couple of things about writing a wedding speech. Now, that's the name of the site, but it works for brides, bridesmaids, best mans, father to groom, pretty much for all speeches in a sense, but we're focusing mainly on wedding speeches since, well, that's since it's the site that I represent. There's two key aspects on getting a great wedding speech. One is writing the speech, and two is giving the speech. So we're going to cover those two elements in this short video and I hope it works out for you really well and it gives you a great opportunity for doing a great speech. Um, first, let's look at how we're delivering this speech. You got the main speech itself. When you are giving it, it's real obvious that the person is yourself. Big smile, happy day, hopefully the best day of your life. And of course over here you have what's called your audience. This could be mom and dad, grandpa and grandma, brothers and sisters, Aunt Martha, you know, whoever the audience is. And these are your primarily three elements and the two secondary elements is that you're giving the speech and that they're receiving the speech. So when you're giving the speech, you've got to be able to give it loud, give it clear, don't be distracted, hands in the pocket, don't be drunk, you know, don't be unprepared, that type of thing, because all this is going to affect how they're receiving it with the distractions. And one of the big things that happen that people forget when they give a speech, and one of the things, if you think about speeches that are like, oh, I can't believe he said that, a lot of times when the person is giving the speech, pretty soon the speech is for the person giving the speech. And that's the whole problem. I mean, if I was standing here at the board talking about myself, there'd be no interest. You are my audience. This is my presentation. I want to give it to a matter you can receive it. So if you start talking because you like to hear yourself talk, or you're talking about it, the speech all about your wonderful bride, you know, the speech is now for her. The speech is for this person down here. And you can give her that speech anytime. Right now, you're focusing on the audience. The second thing to keep in mind, you also don't want to give a speech that has all these inside jokes, off-color humor, anything that's going to be really embarrassing because, again, this is your audience. Does Aunt Martha really want to hear about what happened at a party when someone might have first met? I mean, it can turn a speech disastrous. So, real simple, speaker, speech, audience. If you remember those three elements, keep that in mind as you're writing the speech. It's going to go a lot clearer. So that's the way you're able to give this speech. As for writing the speech, the simplest analogy that we can use is building a speech like we would build a sandwich. A sandwich has a couple pieces of bread typically, and for this example we're going to use a submarine sandwich because I'm picturing maybe making some subs for my buddies for a football game. So they're not going to want that thin little sliced bread. They're going to definitely want a nice piece of bread that's going to hold all the stuff together in the sandwich. The same thing with the speech. You're going to want a good opener. And even more important, you're going to want a good closing. George Burns once said whenever he did comedy, his biggest thing he always struggled with was getting that great opener and always making sure the closer was enough to finish it up. And in a sense, those two pieces of bread and opening and closing holds your whole speech together. It wraps it up. Because a lot of people, man, they get that attention of the audience right away and, um, and then they just lose it. And a lot of time that's why. And of course, you have all your fillings on the inside. And you've got to remember, what are you going to talk about? So a lot of people don't care for anchovies. A lot of people are not going to care for, you know, topics that you really should be talking about. Remember Aunt Martha and Graham out there. Are they going to want to hear this? What are they going to remember? Now when you're building the sandwich, building the speech, the other thing that's important is obviously like a pair of buns always go together, so do the opening and closer. One trick I've used a lot of times for an opener if I had to come up with a fast speech is come up with a list of questions. And you can then spend the whole body of your speech answering those questions. And then of course, close, of course the closer is to wrap up the question saying, isn't that going to be something great to remember, and so on. Because each speech is personalized, I'm not going to do a lot of written examples. You can find more stuff on the website. But, um, you know, tie it together. It's going to make more sense. Other openings and closers can be something like, 
You know, a really good friend will be brave enough to talk you out of doing something stupid and ending up with you being in jail. But your best friend will be sitting in jail with you saying, wow, isn't that great? Now, maybe that's not the best advice, but you know, it brings a chuckle, gets some humor going. You can talk about some of the crazy things and maybe all of a sudden how he's starting to settle down, but there's still that passion and excitement that he's going to be sharing in his new life. And the basic closer is reflect briefly on the items you mentioned and simply state, you know, you got a wonderful new partner in your life, but if you ever need somebody to sit in jail with you, you know who to call. It's a great opener, great closer, and gives you a lot of potential from the middle. So when you're building the speech, building the sandwich, your speech may be three to five minutes long. Don't bore the heck out of them, but get the attention, get the message, wrap it up. And hopefully it's going to be a speech you remember for a long time. Just remember the three elements, you, the audience, and how you're going to give it and how they're going to receive it. You put this package together, you're going to do a great job giving your wedding speech and it'll make the day that much more wonderful. Good luck.